five P to E NFT games to earn up to $100 a day in 2022. Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Rocket. In this video, I'll present to you the top five NFT games that can possibly earn you up to $100 a day and possibly even more. It all depends on how many NFTs you have and other in-depth factors. There are a lot of people out there who play crypto games for a living now, so I decided to search the web trying to find the most profitable games out there. Some of the games on the list will have scholarships where you can just buy NFTs and then let other people play with your NFTs so you rent them out and you just earn 90% of what the NFT makes for the day. So stay tuned, sit back and watch until the end as I take a deeper dive into the games. Before we continue, kindly hit the notification button and subscribe to be notified when I post new videos. Without further ado, let's get into it. First game is Crypto Cars. Why is it on the list? I know this may irritate some people, but Crypto Cars used to make about $20 per day with a $200 investment. So $200 invested making $20 per day means a 10x ROI in 10 days. You make your money back and then it's just profits. Uh, basically, that's what it used to be up until the beginning of January when their token completely tanked. Now, is this a rug pull? I don't think so. Actually, the Cointelegraph article recently stated the claims of a possible rug pull were a false alarm. Everything tanked in January, especially the crypto games, as people were just taking out their profits, selling their NFTs and investments. The main reason I decided to put this game on number 5 is because their token still has potential to recover its all-time highs. I know that the charts are not looking pretty now, but if we put it all into a logarithmic scale, you can see a little bit better what it looks like because now it's shown percentage-wise how much it has grown, and as you can see, it did quite the bounce from the bottom. So with a total investment of $300, Crypto Cars was making me $21 per day. $0.30 was the price at that point, so from there to current prices it tanked 80% and to where it was the lowest, it was almost 100 So I don't blame anyone for um, going out of this game. Moving on to game number 2, we have a more complex game called Pegaxi, which deserves to be in this video. I'm going to cover it the best I can in the limited time we have available, so what exactly is a Pegaxi? Pixie is a play-to-earn PvP-style game of horse racing where players compete for the top 3 positions because only the top 3 earn money against 11 other racers. Within the game, players can breed, sell, and rent horses, more like Pegasos. This creates a massive infrastructure within the game as well as a great economic system that incentivizes players to play more, invest more, and so on. So it's very similar to Axie Infinity. The main problem with Axie was that for you to earn a lot of money, it depends on more and more people joining the game, making it kind of a pyramid scheme in itself. Which is kind of, yeah, the problem with most of these games. The current floor price and the cheapest NFT horse you can race with is $1,100. So for one NFT now, how much does that one NFT earn you? Let's go with that and try to figure it out. How much money this game can make you so you can spend energy from your racehorse to do the races? That means you only have a limited number of chances to be first, second, or third. So to give you an average number, it's around $45 per day at current prices per one NFT. Now if you want to rent out the NFTs and not play for yourself, you have a 90 to 10 split with your scholars. A scholar is someone who rents out the NFTs and wants to play for free, which is perfectly fine. Now the scholar with its 10% will earn anywhere from three and a half to four and a half dollars per day whereas the manager will earn 30 to $36.4 per day per one NFT, putting an ROI at around 37 to 45 days, depending on whether you play for yourself or if you have a scholar who plays for you. Someone could go out and buy 20 NFTs and rent them all out, and they would earn anywhere from 35 to around $30 or $35 per day for him doing nothing. And that's how games like this are very good for people who want to play for free but don't want to invest in anything. They can just rent out an NFT and earn a small percentage of what the actual manager earns. The game economy of Supremacy is a looping system with feedback adjustment. They've created a circular in-game economy that is both sustainable and profitable. Pegaxi is set in the future. It's a futuristic series of metaverse-enabled platforms set in the year 2149, so they have the Battle Arena the Citizen Headquarters, and the Enrichment Center Ballerina, an online spectator game with cooperative play elements embedded in Twitch live streams. The Citizen Headquarters is an economic simulation resource management and resource trading game, while the Enrichment Center is a play-to-earn mobile game where players can solve puzzles, take quizzes, and other fun tasks to complete work for currency. 
Moving on to game number three, which can make everyone happy, Bomb Crypto, and okay, let's go over the earnings first. This game's price has dropped dramatically since it reached an all-time high of over $8. Are you kidding me? I didn't even know it was that low. It's now below $1 market cap and around $3 million. How much can you earn and how much do you need to invest? Let's go over it currently. An individual has $168 invested and this game is making him $3 per day, which is kind of the daily average earn as of right now. With current prices with all of the falls, so really all of this depends on the fluctuation of the coin and what happens on the market. But Bomb Crypto is essentially a play to earn Bomberman game on the Binance Smart Chain. Players can buy and collect Bomber Hero NFTs or auto mining to earn Bitcoin tokens, which they can then trade on the marketplace. Unlike bankruptcy, it's a straightforward game. Now the two games that are left on the list, number 4 and number 5 are all very complex and will require some explanation, but none of them are as complex as Pegasus. So all of them that I can pretty much fit into one video at this point, I would just like to keep looking at the chart, the same as I'm going to do for crypto cars, just look at the chart to see what will happen. See what happens, don't invest in the game, just see how it plays out and keep it on your radar. That's what I'm going to do and it's one of the reasons why this game is on the list. Now let's move on to game number 4, Farmer's World. What's the deal with cryptocurrency and farming games? Why do farming games earn the most money? I'm not sure why, but they do, and it helps their economy. Farmer's World is the first farming game to be released on the Wax NFT platform. Choose appropriate tools for yourself, exploit various resources, build land, and enjoy the fascinating experience of a farmer working in the farmer's world ecosystem. Is it free to play? No, you must invest in NFTs to play and earn this game. But how much does it make right now? According to NFT Gaming, who is playing the game daily, his average daily earnings are $163 per day. He has invested over $9,000 in the game and has had a return of 17%. As I previously stated, you can mine to earn, plant and harvest, or work with cows. So there are a variety of ways to earn money. But as for this guy that I have observed, he only does chicken farming. So he turns eggs into chicks, chicks into chickens, and then he reaps the rewards of all 15 eggs, which is quite a lot of money probably over a thousand per egg. So it's a farming strategy game. If you want to build stuff, you need um, trees and also you need farmers who are going to collect those trees and then they're going to build stuff with said trees. Now to the last and not the least game, number five is Downstar made by Gala Games. This game provides a free to play option. I'm going to first get that out there now. How do you earn with this game? I watched from this guy on Chain Gaming. He says that because of all the NFTs he has, he can earn 238 down coins per day now. At the time of recording this video, this was over 200 per day. Right now, it's just a little below 100 as of current prices. For example, this guy who's been watching was farming sugar canes, peppermints, and he also wants to farm some weeds so that he can make sugar. But that's the premise of the game, you're farming and it's strategic and you need to think about what you place, where and what you farm, what you want to farm as well. That's all for today folks, thank you so much for spending time with us and if you found this video interesting make sure to hit the like button and the notification bell and subscribe to our channel to get access to more interesting videos from us. Till next time.